Greetings and hello, my name is CG Plays, and this is Sir Truck, and we are this little speedy truck that's going through the exit right here. And this is a vampire survivors game, kind of style game, but you are a truck, and your enemies are trucks. And you automatically fire your weapons and try to survive, you kill them, get their little resources there, and uh, that's the general idea of the game, is you get their goods, levels up your ye yellow bar at the top, and you get to level up like this every once in a while. I mean, how can I resist taking a sword, Sir Sword, a sword for your car, why not? Yeah. One out of three weapons equipped, so we can have three weapons, so I guess uh, this this sword will make it two uh, out of three. So I can have one more weapon after this, after that it's just like kind of sheer upgrades, but yeah, just kind of like a neat little game found on itch.io, and uh, we're going to play it and have some fun. And we've got some garbage trucks coming here. I imagine they're a little bit more generous to the hit points. It seems like it's going to be like a kind of tricky skill-based game, and I think more speeds can make life hard for us. You know what? I will get a mace that swings behind my car doing huge damage. That's That seems great, although the using of it is probably going to be tricky to uh, accomplish. It hit for 75 damage. You weren't kidding about the huge damage, but the using of it shall be difficult, one would imagine. I don't want to replace Sir's Sword. I think 25% greater rate of fire is better than uh, enemies having 10% less health, and I'll have to deal with 40 tags, so we'll go for a uh, fire rate. That doesn't affect my mace or my sword, but it'll affect my little uh, missile thing, and who knows, maybe we'll eventually replace the sword with other stuff. We need to be careful not to get hit twice in a row like that. I, wow, that we sent that thing flying with our mace. The thing about the mace and the sword is you gotta get close to hit them, which is dangerous. Apparently the game has curses. Ah, uh, this, these are both, like, there's, I don't have to worry about clearing the enemies on the screen. I've got uh, plenty of health, so I guess I don't need either of those right now. I'll go for increased uh, base rate of fire by 25%. I feel like we're getting so much attack speed that I should go for other ranged weapons rather than the sword and the mace. Oh man, it's, this is a, this is a skill-based game. I think we're gonna probably have a rough first run here. Don't be surprised if I die in this first run and have another one after it. I mean, I could restore up to two hearts or get a magnet range. We'll go for the magnet range and just try and rely on skill of not dying, maybe. I'm gonna worry less, because the reason I got hit so much is I was trying to like focus on trying to hit them. What is that? This is money. I was trying to focus on hitting them with my weapons and less focusing on dodging. And I'm gonna focus on dodging a bit more, but it's, it is tricky. It drives like a car. Or a truck, rather. We're, we are Sir Truck. I'm still going to keep car in the title, because why not? I will add 20 base damage to Sir's sword. That seems like a pretty... Okay, that's... All right, man. Oof. <laughs> the car driving aspects are tricky on this. You don't move your traditional WSD like you do in most games. It's like you are you hold forward and you go forward and you like slide left and right through your A and the D there. A lot of garbage trucks here, but that's also almost kind of easier. Because uh, they're slow and a little bit easier to dodge. Oh, unless this happens... Oh, we're dead. Okay. Maybe sword and uh, mace ain't it. All right, I'll just jump to me getting my first upgrade. I almost want an upgrade for less speed. Mm, I don't want the mace. So I'll go for the, the increase in my base rate of fire by 25%, the fire spell upgrade. I want like the blunderbuss, I think uh, is a thing we saw earlier. You know, that sounds like it'd be good, right? Hey, ask for it and you get it. Blunderbuss fires a wide blast directly behind you. That seems useful. Now I've got this little, yeah, there we go. We've got the, the auto aim on this thing that shoots periodically. Then if I kind of like drive slow and shoot them behind me, I feel like I'm almost better just like standing still or just barely touching forward seems safer. Oh no, it's it's really hard to control this. No, like the turning is so aggressively sensitive. It's a good a good challenge if you like a challenge. I need like a forward firing weapon. Hey, ask for it and you get it. Um, I want free wins. <laughs> Maybe how about that? Gatling gun fires directly forward. All right, now I got the Gatling gun. Does it fire constantly? It seems to. Ooh, but it's it it it's. Oh my God, it's. You can't like the 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 turning is so incredibly sensitive in this game. It's 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 hard. You have to like you can't just like hold down forward or hold down left or right. You have to like tap them like little tappy taps because you just go way too fast in this game in every in every sense of the word. Ooh, increase base damage by six. That's good because we were doing like six damage per so shot. Maybe this will do like twelve now. Nope, nope. Oh man, the problem with turning to face down with a Gatling gun is you just don't kill them fast enough, and then they run in and hit you. So maybe the Gatling, Gatling gun sucks? Oh, that's for the fire spell upgrade, not for all things. Okay. I will take uh, another fire spell upgrade, but maybe the Gatling gun is bad, because it only shoots them if you're aiming directly at them, but it doesn't actually kill them quickly enough, even if they're like the squishy one. So perhaps Gatling gun is just an underpowered weapon right now. Replenish all health. I mean, I'm down to one heart, so I'll get for the cursed health. Enemies will spawn faster, but it also means I'll get their money faster. So, I mean, you know, good trade, I suppose. I'm very ready to replace the Gatling gun. I, the Gatling gun needs a buff. It's just, it's no good. Like, I guess if I stand still, unless, unless I drive in reverse, if I drive in reverse, maybe, uh, Oh, so yeah, that's actually, that, that actually feels a lot better as far as, like, the, the rate of speed that I'm moving. I still feel like I turn a little too aggressively, but this feels like a, this feels like the speed I should be moving. Oh, man, it's, it's, it's still really hard to not get hit. 
I will replace the the Gatling gun with a booby trap and uh, I'll just keep getting hit a bunch here and we're dead. Okay, okay, great. Jesus, this is really hard. All right, no Gatling gun this time, and I don't like driving backwards because frankly, it's just it's it's just like in it's like your inverted left and right kind of throws me off. I'll increase the base damage of the fire spell by six. Maybe that'll help out. I need options to decrease the speed of the car, or decrease my maneuverability because it's too much. Okay, it's ran into that car for no good reason. All right, fine. The blunderbuss I think was decent. Occasionally takes out some of the ones behind us. I just need to like somehow keep these guys behind me as much as I can. I'm not sure if this game has a victory condition or not. Survive, survive X number of waves and levels and uh, you win? Maybe? I don't know. Oh, this is no good. I don't want more speed in the car, but I don't want curses either. Fine, I'll add two heart containers and we'll get the occasional enemy that has a, a giant on them, I suppose. Clearly, I need the health. Ooh, these little taxi guys are fast. I don't really want to eat your pain. We are one-shotting them, though, with my fire spell, so that's good. Not sure if they always did that or not, but it definitely is now. Level up here. I think I will go for a base rate of fire because I feel like I feel like the starting spell, the fire spell is kind of like the best one. So the faster that shoots and attacks the enemies, the better for us. I need that thing to go be going 100 miles an hour. That's a really big wherever that car is. Look like four shots to hit him. These blue ones are quick and that's a problem for me because I suck at steering. Driving in real life, I'm good at it. I'm a safe, good, cautious driver. Um, Video games? Eh, maybe not so much. Enemies have less health, but more. But 40 taxis spawn right now. All right, let's do it. Oh, we're going to take damage here, aren't we? No, 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 no. Oh, I almost thread the gap. It's so hard to control. It's so insanely sensitive here. Let me show you how sensitive it is. Just, you can just do cr like crazy loops like that. that. Oh, two big giant guys at the same time. That's rough. Looks like the board uh, kind of like circles you back around your loot, which I like. Easier to get my money back. It's my money and I want it now. Ooh, blunderbuss uh, fire rate by 30%. I need a third weapon, but I won't try like that bomb looking thingy. I will go for some uh, fire right here. I need all of you to chill. Oh my goodness. Take it easy. I'm wasting too many shots on these big guys. I need to be taking out the little guys. Still got the remnants of the taxis over here. Take them out. Get them out of here. Too many taxis. Drive slow so I can blunderbust them a little bit. I need you to chill. I need to find a path out of here. Why is it so difficult? I'm starting to get a little bit better out of the feel. Still need some improvement. The giant, the curse that gave giants not great for me. Who is pushing that truck sideways? I regret getting the giant curse, but I feel like I had no choice. Fire spell is really doing most of the work here. I wanted the booby trap, but the, I feel like this fire spell is really like my, my champion. I should get the upgrade every time it's offered because it's literally the, like the best thing I've got. It attacks quick. It does good damage. Doesn't really miss. Oh my, you're, ki you're kidding. You're kidding. You're kidding. You're kidding. You zoomed out. There's more enemies on the screen. That's cool. It's a good feature. Fire spell base rate of fire up by 25%. Yes, please. I need that thing to be shooting crazy fast and taking all these little guys out before they get to me. That's that's good. I watch for this blue guy coming in hot. Two of them. Can they explode and hit each other? That'd be really cool if they exploded and hit each other. That'd be probably pretty hard to fit into the game here. Okay, y'all need to chill. This is oppressive. This is oppressive. This is oppressive. That's like it. It gets out of control real quick. Once more to the breach. I feel like the blunderbuss wasn't actually doing that much for me. I guess I'll take the base damage on the fire spell. I wish I could just focus everything in the fire spell. If I get the fire spell like leveled up enough, that's going to be like like everything. Because all the other weapons seem kind of mid. The fire spell is the, the, the one though. I'm not sure why it's called a fire spell, though. I guess I'm firing a missile, maybe? Okay, here we go with the booby trap. Drops traps every so often. Explosion does area damage. Maybe that'll be useful for, like, clearing out the in a big area, the ones that are following me. And, uh, I imagine it'll be more useful when there's more enemies on the screen. Right now, it's just kind of, like, missing and not doing a whole lot of anything. But later on, maybe it becomes clutch. Ouch. Just run into them and get hit for no good reason. All right, fine. See how it is. I'll go for the booby trap upgrade to make them do uh, an extra 25 damage. I'm sure that'll come in useful later on once there's, uh, you know, more enemies on the screen and whatnot. I mean, I just watched... I Alright, uh, hold on. Let's see if I can get one of these guys to run to my explosion. Hmm, base rate of fire on this fire spell at 25%. I will take that. Ouch, as I run into an enemy. Oops. The pains of levels up in these kind of games is running into enemies. It's stinky. I mean, my, I think my bombs hit for like 75 damage, so like that is pretty useful. Looks like 26 is enough damage to take out a taxi in one hit, so... Maybe fire rate is a uh, king. Yeah, I think maybe fire rate over damage for this thing. Uh, booby trap, reduce time between drops by 25%. Yes, yeah, so let's just litter the board with these things. Looks like they only stay on there for so long. I watch them decay. Or maybe I can only have something on the board at a time. Maybe I can only have five on the board at once. I don't know. That's, oh my gosh, you're so... I don't have the reaction time for this. There's a reason I tend to prefer like... Oh my god, you're kidding like strategy based games, coordination, reflexes, reaction time, not my strength. I'm actually going to go for the restore two hearts here because I'm going to pass on Sir Sword and I mean, maybe Sir Sword might be okay, but I feel like it's only useful when I'm close to them and I don't want to be close to them. I hear all these big explosions going off in the distance and I think that's pretty useful. 
And yeah, the, the bounce hit for 75, that's pretty good. No, 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 no. Oh, man, it's so... I need, like, a more zoomed out view with how fast these guys come at me and how fast they move. I don't want them to have 20% more health. I don't want them to spawn faster. I don't want these curses. I guess I'll I'll get some a waste of health. I guess I should have grabbed the Sir Sword before. Oh, well. Honestly, the, the explosions are starting to... Uh, Prove a little bit more useful. There's more on the board here, which is useful. I, as I say, useful too many times. Just gotta keep uh, putting some explosions out there. Hey, look at that, all shiny. Heart container, tempting. Fire spell, base damage by six. Yes. The fire spell is the best one. And we want it to be really super duper strong. I need fire, like, I need to just get a lucky run where I just get a ton of fire uh, spell uh Attack rate, massive attack rate. Yeah, I think the I think the booby traps are pretty good for uh, when they're coming behind us like this and just dropping it. I find not driving. I find driving fast is a problem because then they start to like you don't want them appearing from multiple directions, so you kind of gotta like slow it down and keep them all there behind you. I mean, I guess I can make uh, the 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 reduce the time between drops on the on those fire them more often as I get hit. Getting you level up, you get hit. It's dangerous. Yeah, going slow is good. Give me upgrades to slow my slow my movement speed, please. We're too fast. I must be slow, boys. Be slow. I don't know. Chill. All right, fine. Guess we need those heal heal me up. Get, the blue guys are brutal. I mean, mo more booby trap drop frequency. I guess I guess we'll do that. That'll, that'll be fine. Yo, blue, I need you to chill. You are devastating. Hey, we're at level ten. We're doing pretty good. The explosions are pretty satisfying for taking the guys out. Do I get the mace to drag behind me? No, fire spell. Um, base rate of fire by twenty five percent. Yes. I need that thing to be attacking way quicker, and I need to kill the guys that are coming at me like that faster. But I think I definitely think that like trying to drive really slow is actually kind of like the way to go, and then you gotta move fast occasionally because the blue guys they they come in, and my fire spell just doesn't really attack them quite frequently enough. Also, I don't think my, I don't think my fire spell one shots them either. Base damage on fire spell by six. Yes, I need you to be one shotting the blue guys. Although I imagine their hit point probably like scales over time. See, this this is what happens when you get too far away from the guys behind you. They all start spawning in front of you, and then you get boxed in like that, and we're dead. All right, one more try. One more try to hopefully get luckier. I need all the fire spell speed upgrades. Maybe we just grab Sir Sword. Why not? Okay, get hit right away. Great. I would rank. I would rank this game as having a lot of potential. Currently, it feels too hard. <laughs> it's it's too hard for me. Uh, some people might like it, but I will like dial down the difficulty a little bit. Make it a uh, fire spell. I do want that. Make like like I move too fast and you know just dial everything down by like ten percent and then feel a little bit better. But that's just my personal preference. But I I suck at video games, right? So don't worry about me. Don't bounce games around doofuses. I mean, I guess I'll, I can add a heart container. Or do I want the mace? I feel like uh, I think we get the heart container. I'd rather have the booby trap doing damage behind me. Okay, that was just me being dumb. All right, so can I see? Oh, come on. Brutal. Brutal. It's too... It's just too steering. Too steering. Too steering. Too much steering. Help me. Help me. Let's just show you how really out of control this is. Like how... This is how bonkers your, scare, your, your steering is. So you can do this crazy stuff like that. It's good for doing donuts. Bad for actually playing the game. Unless you're supposed to sit there doing donuts. Ouch. All right, here's here's my game plan. Nope. All right, fine. What if I just get what if I just get the sword? What if I just, what if, what if I just get the sword and d do donuts? Never mind. I get to fire spell upgrade. I mean, we'll, I'll take that too. And almost run into these guys. Sir Sword. There we go. Okay, I've got Sir Sword. We're gonna drive a little bit away, and then we're just gonna drive in circles. And I'm gonna hold forward while I do it, so I move faster. I don't seem to move a whole lot faster. What if I don't hold forward? I just do like tighter circles. I move slower. Oh no, you, you gotta hold forward. Maybe like if I tap forward occasionally to give me a speed boost right as they're about to come in. I mean, it's kind of working until we get hit by the, the, the garbage truck. I right, always just hold forward nonstop and really zoom it. More damage on the sword? Yeah. More damage on the sword and really just, maybe I should get more movement speed to make this work a bit better. I feel like we're not gonna move fast enough. Maybe I did this with like uh, more movement speed and the mace. I guess I'll get the fire spell upgrade. Give me some, get some of this XP here. I need the mace, I think, before I try that. Ouch. Okay, that's a lot of taxis hurting me for damage. I guess health upgrade for heart container, but I'm, that's not really what I'm looking for here. All right, enter my circle circle of death and doom and see what you can do. The problem is I don't really pick up the XP doing this. I guess it's not hard to, like, move my circle a little bit as long as they don't come in right as I'm doing it, which they seem to do. The blue guys will be the undoing of me, I think. Honestly, kind of working. Fire uh, rate on the spell, good. What I'm really looking for is the mace though. So when there's a lot of garbage, gar garbage, garbage trucks, garbage, I'm from Boston. <laughs> how was the, how are we doing here? I mean, it's, it's kind of working. Why is that guy like driving away? Hello? All right, here's the real test when they start really coming in at us aggressively. Base damage on the fire spell, hopefully. I probably should have gotten the health, but we're going to, we're going to commit to me being an impenetrable circle of death and doom. I mean, I'm picking up some of the, the money stuff here. I'll take it. I guess we'll take the blunderbuss. 
Maybe maybe it's shooting behind me occasionally hits them. Yeah, and softens them up a little bit. I took a hit of damage there, so clearly we're not impenetrable. I, I need to do it. We need to try it again. I need to get the mace. I guess I'll take the magnet upgrade to like get the money better when I'm doing my circles, but not the RNG I'm looking for here at the start. There we go. Got the mace. Swings behind your car doing huge damage. That's great. Now the question is, can I get this thing to, you know, will this work with the circles? I don't know. We're going to try it, and so, so far, I mean, it, it is hitting them. Nope, they got past it and hit me, so one mace alone, not the defensive perimeter that we're looking for. If I, if I sit still and they run to my mace, will it hurt them? Survey says no, it did zero damage. So it's based on movement, I guess. Sir Sword, okay, there we go. Another mace as well. We'll get the sword. Now I'll try it with the mace and sword. Will this be enough of a circular protective barrier? Nope, I've been hit twice already, so... Not really. Uh, I guess we'll get the magnet because I don't want the giants. We're dead. All right, fire spell upgrade. More rate of fire. Sure. As we start another run here. Don't hurt me. Oh, man. The love like these games are brutal for leveling up. Always have been. Sir Sword. Okay, I'll take it. Six more damage on the fire spell. I'll take that too, but I'm not quite what I'm looking for. You can sometimes drag these guys along on your sword there and they just kind of like freak out a little bit. The taxi wave is dangerous. I don't, I don't want to mess with, this, with these guys. You're killing, you're killing me. Give me some maces. Max speed of the car is actually probably going to be one of the things we're looking for, though. So maybe that's okay. As I run to them, every time I level up, I just like lose my orientation and then take damage. It sucks. Uh, more rate of fire on the fire spell. Sure, I guess. But again, not what I'm looking for. How fast do we spin this extra smooth speed? I mean, I don't really notice much of a difference for the going in circles. Maybe a little bit. The blue car is the worst, though. They just, they like you have like one second between when they appear on screen when they hit you sometimes. I guess I'll take 20 damage on Sir sword. But again, I want maces. My fire rate is very fast in the fire spell, though. That feels great. Oh, it does have to hit them like five times to kill them because they're so tanky. Hmm, tempted to get the max speed of the car, but the fire spell is doing well now. I'll get six more damage on that. It's kind of doing a lot of work for us here, actually. Probably get some health at some point. Okay, it's getting a little bit tricky here. The, the fire spell the fire spell is doing actually great things for us. Big fan of what this is doing. Attack the right guys, though. Sometimes a bit tricky. Six more damage in the fire spell? Yes, please. Maybe we finally reached our fire spell fantasy of fast attack rate, fast damage. Perhaps, maybe. I think it's going to be good enough, though. Oh, God, no, not this. Not this. Oh, man, we're doing so good. And then just like 30 enemies spawning us all at once. One more try. Fire spell upgrade, uh, base rate of fire. Sure, I'll take it. Not a terrible start. I guess we'll go for the magnet range when collecting money by 25%, because I don't want the booby trap or the blunderbuss. I want the sword and the mace. But the game does not like giving me mace maces. Oh, chill. I'll go uh, rate of fire on the fire spell by 25%. So that's two uh, rate of fire spell upgrades we got in you. That's good. Needs more damage, though. It's only hitting for 20. That's not enough. Oh, the taxi wave. The taxi wave. Oh, man. This game's super hard. Hey, finally the mace. There we go. But I need uh, the sword as well and more um, more maces. I think we need more than the one. The blue cars are the worst, though. They take multiple hits and they're, uh, yeah, they've got like over 40 hit points. They will hit the, so as long as I'm moving a little bit, the mace will do some damage. I think it's based on how fast you're moving, how much damage the mace does. I can work with that, I guess. Hey, adds another dang mace. Let's go. Now we got two. Not that they're doing a whole lot for us just yet. I want the sword before I start doing the spinnies, though. Oh, man, I tried to get in the, get in there, get in his face to hit him with the maces, but instead, I got hit. I can see somebody, I can see somebody playing this game a bunch and getting really good at it. Adds another dang mace. There we go. Fire spell tempting, but now we got three maces. If I can get the Sir Sword, we'll be good to go. I'm not ready to do spinny circles yet, though. I need, I need, uh, maybe I can do spinny circles? I don't know if I really trust that. I need to slow down and keep these guys on me. All right, maybe I might be forced to do spinny circles now because there's just too many. Spinny circles of safety. Help protect me. Help protect me. Nope, nope, nope. <laughs> I needed the sword as well. There we go. Much better. New run. I got sword in the first grab and a mace in the second grab. Let's do this. Sword and mace boys. They're not spread out the way I'd want them to. There we go. That's much better. Enter my circle spinny area of doom and woe and lament. I mean, I'll take more base rate in the fire spell. It'll, you know, all the all the DPS adds up, right? I mean, so far, so good. I guess a few close calls. I do not want to replace the mace. More magnet range when I'm collecting money is good. That way I don't have to, like, break my circles much to go get the stuff. All right, here's a good test. The taxi wave. Can I make it through the taxi wave without taking any damage? The answer is no. We got hit once. I need probably like more maces, right? More car speed by 25%. Yeah. If I'm spinning faster, then surely my my circle of protection of... Oh, we, we beat a fast car. That's good. Maybe that's... Yeah, that's it's, it's working. Maybe there's hope here. Yeah, we're blocking most of the blue cars before they get to us. Granted, there's only one coming at a time, so, I mean, that's a thing, but yeah, it's kind of working. All right, one of the blue cars got through, so that's not super great. 
Another dang mace, though. All right, we got two maces. I'm not sure the extra maces really make that big of a difference. I mean, slightly bigger area, maybe like more damage when they do hit. Perhaps that's the difference. I feel like my sword's the one doing most of the hitting. In fact, it really is the one doing most of the hitting. I guess when they come from the other side is when the uh, the mace will do some... No, like the, the mace is barely hitting. More speed of the car, perhaps? We can like circle faster. All the more... And we're dead. I don't think it's going to work, but maybe someone can make it work. Neat game, good concept, way too hard for my liking. But, but still kind of fun in spite of the fact that's too hard for my taste. But some of the others are going to love it. Smash that like button. Let's go.